total solar eclipse over Easter Island. The last one was 1,400 years ago and thousands of sky watchers on Easter Island cheered as a total solar eclipse darkened South Pacific skies. The totality lasted 4 minutes and 39 seconds. Easter Island famed for the monumental statues built thousands of years ago served as ground zero for the event which was streamed across the world via the internet. The eclipse could be seen in person only along a narrow slice of the southern hemisphere. The spectacle began at sunrise 1,200 miles 2,000 kilometers northeast of New Zealand. The moon's shadow swept across the South Pacific, darkening skies over the Cook Islands, Easter Island, and parts of southern Chile and Argentina. The time of greatest eclipse occurred over open water, lasting 5 minutes and 20 seconds. A Williams College astronomer traveled to remote Easter Island with a small group of students to observe his 51st eclipse. They set up telescopes to image the sun's glowing corona, the usually invisible outer atmosphere of the sun, which appears as a nearly white crown during an eclipse. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the sun and earth the moon blocks the light from the sun and casts a shadow on earth. This eclipse is the most remote eclipse on earth this century. Last year's total solar eclipse, the longest one of the 21st century, fell over a wide swath of Asia. On Easter Island, Sunday's eclipse could be seen through thin clouds during most of its total phase. Thicker clouds partly obscured the very end of totality when the edge of the sun's disk began to reappear as a diamond ring. A partial solar eclipse was visible from a wider swath of South America reaching as far north as Peru and Brazil. The next total solar eclipse will occur in November 2012 or 2012 and will be visible from Northern Australia and the South Pacific. And yes, there's something significant about the numbers of this eclipse. It does have significance, especially in these times, because there's never been times like these before and there will be times like these again. These are very special times. Revelation chapter 6 verse 9 and When he had opened the fifth seal I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. Ten. And they cried with a loud voice saying how long, O Lord, holy and true, does thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? 11. And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season, until their fellow servants also, and their brethren that should be killed as they were, should be fulfilled. 12. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. 13. And the stars of heaven fell into the earth, even as a fig tree casts her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. 14. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. 
every mountain and island were moved other places. Fifteen. And the rulers of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. Sixteen. And said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sits on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. 17. For the great day of his wrath has come, and who shall be able to stand? And all these things that are happening are more signs of the end times, transition days. Transition is a process. It is an effect. Yes, it's time for all prophecy to be fulfilled. The seven angels have begun to sound. And all these are more signs happening daily all around the world.